please. Hmm. I'm sorry to interrupt. It must be. Just, just one, one question. Just one. All right. Are you, you, are you interviewing me for, for a job, for a well-paid job? Are you interviewing Homelander for the job of your assistant? Are you? Hmm? Sorry, I didn't catch that. Not to say it loud. Why the fuck did I have to wait two point five seconds for you to acknowledge me? Hmm? I know I said one question, but fuck it. It's my interview. I'm going to ask another. All right. What? What? hear you say it. What powers do you have? None. All right. <laughs> so, you are not interviewing me. You know who I am. Mm -hmm. And you don't have any powers. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, I'm pulling your leg. I'm joking. Let's start again. I'm gonna pretend you didn't blank me, that you didn't ignore my entrance, okay? And you are gonna look at me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what a treat. You are gonna look at me. 
can say. Hello, Homelander. Welcome back. I'll say hi or something, maybe, some shit. I won't say your name, I won't remember your name. But you'll say, hello, Homelander. Welcome back. Okay, let's try. You ready? Here I am. Bingo. You got the job. No. Joking. You didn't get the job. You might. We haven't started the interview. <laughs> you fucking people. You have to remember one thing. If you remember anything at all, if you can remember anything, if your brains <laughs> Not too busy being fucked by stupid. Remember one thing. There is no why. Oh, you in the Homelander. There is just M E. Me. Did you, did you shit your pants? <laughs> did you think then? Did you think that I was going to kill you? I'm not a murderer. I'm a fucking hero. The greatest hero. A god. I'm not just better than you. I ascend from you. Okay. Did you shit yourself when I did the, the eye? It's okay if you did. But from now on, if you want this job that is well compensated, like, wow, you could do a week in this role and have enough money to, I don't know, feed your seven kids or whatever the fuck you've got going on at home. But part of this job, if you did shit yourself, is from now on, you are out of the equation. Okay? It's just me, the Homelander. It's, it's always me, just me. You don't take a shit without asking me. Size, density, consistency, circumference. In the corner of the room, in the middle of the room, in the bathroom. Okay? You understand? And if you fucking ignore me again when I come in after a hard day's work, then you'll lose your job. So, with that in mind, you get one chance, one chance to walk out now. If you keep sitting there, then you're in it for the long haul. You gotta go through the whole interview. So, <laughs> well, but you can't be brave. Maybe you're gonna make yourself proud. Are you gonna be my PA? the spirit I'm looking for. That's the American dream. That is the Homelander ethos. To be able to 
ascend if you get this job if your life will change everything will change you join an elite group of people an elite group of morals hmm? nothing will ever be the same you'll be mine and nobody else's <laughs> the fact that you have sat there and but observing me walking around with no pants on and haven't said anything that that is the sign of a good P A. That's why I didn't fry you a minute ago. So, first rule of the interview you look here, forget about down there. I'm gonna pace. I might walk around you. I might explore. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't touch you. Why would I? But do not move your head. Keep your eyes fixed straight ahead at the point. And if, I, if I'm here and I make eye contact with you, you lock the eyes straight or I'll be upset. If I'm not looking at you, do not look at me. Look behind me, whatever. But don't move your fucking head. You understand? Of course. They're simple instructions. Why wouldn't you understand? If, <laughs> if you didn't understand that, we would have a, we would have a problem. We? Hmm? Hmm. Good. So, Vought will be paying you, but I will be your line manager, for lack of a better phrase. What I want to impress upon you is the importance of that role. Your role. You. You need to know everything, everything about me. You don't need to predict my wants, my needs, my, my desires, my, my schedule. You need to know those things. You understand? You need to know those things before I do is that is that unreasonable is it despotic is it strange <laughs> maybe maybe a little bit so You got the uh, the cheat sheet, right? Yeah, for the seven, for the business, for the whole the whole gang. But mine, of course. Trivia. Hmm? I mean, you should know all these things anyway. If you're a proud American, then you should know, right? Right. All right. For for example. When is my birthday? <laughs> mm, that's what it says on the sheet, right? Sure. <laughs> well, I, you know, I'm. It's a date, right? 
but I'm like, Jesus. In a lot of ways, and the queen, the king, the golden king. Nah, it's not my real birthday. But I, can't, I won't tell you when, when. So forget that. But do another one. <laughs> On the cheat sheet. What does it say? My favorite. My favorite scent. Yes. Is that what it says? vegetarian or anything like that. Good. Fine, whatever. But okay, Da Vinci, shut the fuck up. You cook a steak. Okay. Listen. <laughs> you cook a steak. You heat the pan first after getting the meat to room temperature. You put the pan on the hob and you heat it too long. It's scolding hot. You with me? Far too hot. You over season the meat. Rub far too much salt. You lather on, like a massage. This cow, this cow is getting treated better than it ever did alive right now by you cooking it, right? Okay, keep up. The pan's too hot. The steak is over seasoned. So raw. You pick up the meat. You pick up the meat with your bare hands and place it lovingly onto the pan. And for a fucking second, it looks like it's gonna catch fire. That smell. People 
will say things about me. They already do. They say <laughs> that I'm a, I'm a fascist. They say that I am. They say that I am. <laughs> an incel. What the fuck is an incel? Sounds like something from Alabama or something. I don't know, but whatever it is, I'm not. I'm not it. They call me a villain. Sometimes. A big part of your role isn't just spin. It's reflection, too. Do you understand what I mean? What I mean is if some fucking dweeb sat behind a fucking keyboard some internet warrior calls me a villain I'm a villain you have to turn that word into hero which is what Shit, you wouldn't be here, would you? Why would you apply for a job working for a villain? How would a villain even advertise the role? Hey, what the fuck do they do, huh? Put an ad in the, in the New Yorker. Super villain, assistant wanted. Location of interview, skull, fucking base underwater in the Atlantic, whatever. No. The reason you're here is because I'm a fucking hero. It's because I am the Homelander. But yeah, people, fucking people, they'll say shit about me, that I'm things I'm not. But I'll just say things I am that they don't like. Call me names. You gotta change those words, but you've also gotta make sure that, make sure, make sure that I don't fucking see them. I don't wanna know. My points go up, I'm happy, but I, I, I do not wanna know if they go down or why. How old are you? How old are you? All right. Do you have a family? Fine. Shut up. Whatever. I had someone once close to me. She was like a mother, sister, manager, lover, whatever. You wouldn't understand. She, uh, she used to do something for me. Hmm. <laughs> not, not like that. No, please. I'm not interested. No.
she used to, let's say, give me milk. Pick up milk. Sure. Let's say that. <laughs> let's say that. Would you pick up milk for me? Yeah, we're burdening the uh, the newbie, huh? Have a uh, HR all of my all of my ass. Hmm. Hmm. All right. All right. Hmm. How are you feeling? You good? You excited? Come work for Vaughn. Hmm. Work. Have you met the rest of the, the team? The seven? <laughs> They're all pieces of shit. I don't want you talking to them. Not at all. You talk to me. Just me. And th throw away that fucking phone. You only contact me. Yeah. You get compensated. But more than just compensation. You. You get to work. For the most powerful. Bravest. American. American. There. Once again, bravo, oh, sitting there the whole time, wow, I got the boys on show, but it's that level of discretion that is important to the role, so Vought thanks you. just because I am so powerful. I am so Americanly American. It doesn't mean that I don't feel, you know. People think that it's easy. People think it's easy that I can do these things that I have the weight, the weight, the responsibility on my, my back, on this cape, these shoulders, they carry more pain than anyone could possibly appreciate. Yeah, I need you to, I need you to help me with that pain. Will you help me? with that pain sometimes. Just yes or no. No details. Not yet. Hmm? One other thing. You should cut all ties with your family. Friends. If you're married or in a relationship, cut it off. Cancel it. Cancel culture. <laughs> Why? Why? <clears throat> that is a stupid fucking question. Why? How do you think I'll react to that? That question. Hmm? Why? Why? I'm Seriously. Because I fucking said so. 
That's why. If you don't like it, you can get the fuck out right now. Waste of time. And baby. People got a lot of nicknames for me. Hurtful words. But I'm fucking bulletproof, so. Words are not gonna fucking affect me. What are you doing? job then there's a problem and uh, I've told you things that can't leave this room no oh hey it's not me you know me I'm easygoing relaxed fun sexy it's Vaughn you know stuffy bureaucrats they're no fun and if they learn that mm, I've let you leave here alive after telling you those things, even my birthday, they give me shit for that. Can you believe it? <laughs> if they give me shit, what the fuck are they gonna give you? Sorry, kiddo. If that's the tood that you're gonna you're gonna present, that you take up 15, 20 minutes of my fucking life. Probably killed countless people who could have been saved. Yeah, that's on you, murderer. Mm, you don't like that. How do you think I feel? Murderer, bystander. Kitty Genevieve's, that's you. But if you're really gonna do this, if you're really gonna tow this line, not take the job, then <laughs> I'm sorry, but. Thank you for your time. Don't call us, we'll kill you. 